Hi folks, Nick Rock here again. Today we're doing another unboxing. I ordered a Bosch Go cordless screwdriver from Takelot. It arrived about 10 minutes ago and we're going to unbox it now. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to it. As usual, we're going to take out our trusty Leatherman with the unpackaging tool. Okay, so this is the Bosch Go cordless screwdriver. Some specs on the side of the box and contents. A couple of quick reference notes over there or pictures. Okay, so it was upside down in the packaging, I think. Let's put that over there. As usual, from the Boss Professional range, most of the time, you get a nice hard case, a plastic hard case, to protect your tools. Some lock and unlock mechanisms, very plain and simple lock and unlock mechanism. Okay, we have to cut that one as well. So, here we have the screwdriver. We have a USB charging cable. Micro USB. We have a USB charger. This is a five volt one ampere charger. Let's see if you can make that out there. There we go. Some people might find that interesting. I do. And then we have a 33 piece bit set.
So before I get to that, while I've got the bits of here, let's just talk about what you get with it because this is always interesting to me and I didn't find anyone of the other reviews telling me what you get. They just say, okay, we get 32 bits. So let's have a look here. We have, okay, this is interesting. So even though you have 32 bits, I think the sizes are doubled, so you've got spares. So we have three POSI 1 bits. We have three POSI 2 bits. Three Philips 1 bits. Three Philips 2 bits. Two SL 1 bits. So, as I showed earlier, the SL bits are flat flat bits okay never mind that then <laughs> two SL3 bits which are flats again two S0 bits these are four sided bits S01, two of those. We have two S, sorry, we have two S0 bits, we have two S1 bits, we have two S2 bits, we have two hex3 bits, we have two hex4 bits, we have two T10 bits. I just call them spline bits. So 10. We have two T15 or spline bits. And we have two T20 bits. And then one extender. Now this is pretty important, I think. There are two sets. I think there are only two sets. So one is called the, the Bosch Go Solo and one is called the Bosch Go Kit. And this is the kit. The kit comes with a 32, 33 piece bit, 33 piece bit set. When you read 32 bit, 32 piece, you think 32 set different pieces. For example, this kit I have, I don't know, it's a lot. It's probably 48 piece or 70 piece or something like that. But anyway, each there's one of each size bit. So you tell me it's a 70 piece and I think 70 different sizes. And this has got a lot of different kinds of bits. It's got hex bits, it's got um, hex ball bits, it's got spline bits, it's got splines with a little hole in the side, it's got metric bits, it's got um, <clears throat> imperial bits, etc. So this is what I think when I read 32 bits. Now I'm not trying to say that Bosch should have said it is a 14 piece bit set because it's not it is a 32 bit set 33 piece bit set and what I do appreciate is the fact that you have three of each of the posies they usually strip first and three of each of the Phillips I mean as well sorry <clears throat> and you have spares so when you strip one on the job you have another one whereas with this kit not only stripping because they have never stripped but losing as well for example, you'll notice that I've lost some of my Phillips and Posies. And <laughs> usually it's just that one that I need. So I do really appreciate the fact that there are spares in this kit. And, and 
it's important for me to show this in the unboxing video because no one else has done this so let's put them all back oh, and you have a this nice cover to put on the bits so I assume that would be if you don't use the the box and you just you throw it into one of your toolboxes this is a removable molded interior and then you have your user manual here so that's what's in the box let me just run through a couple of things with you Bosch Go Come on, focus. It doesn't want to focus, but you can see. Here we have the switch. This is forward to drive in, backwards to drive out, and it has a switch in the middle. Now, some of the things that I'm going to mention, well, everything that I'm going to mention to you now is. Everything I'm going to mention now are notes and things I've seen on other reviews and read online. So whatever I show you now is not from personal experience, that will come in the review. So it's an electronic screwdriver and the idea is that as you push onto the screws or nuts or bolts or anything, the screwdriver starts, activates. When it's in the middle position of here, it does not, it's in manual mode, so you can use it as a normal screwdriver. Also, I just want to see something which no one mentioned. Okay. When you press in on this, whether it's in the forwards or backwards or middle position, when you press in on the on a screw, you can see oh, there's a battery indicator over here. You can see the the charge level. So it has three LED segments, and all three will be lit up when it is fully charged. So when it's in the forward position, it's going to go forward and backwards position is going to go backwards. It's pretty sturdy. It's, it's really sturdy actually. It, it feels, you get these plastic screwdrivers. You know these ones that look like a pistol? I've gone through quite a couple of them. You can feel it's a plastic thing, but this you can feel there's something going on in here. There's, there's something heavy and industrial and professional inside here. There are some videos on the internet where people took these things apart, which I appreciated, but I can now feel that the motor in here, for example, is it's quite heavy the <coughs> I apologize the battery pack is a decent battery pack it's a lithium ion battery pack I will double check that on my in my review video I think it's a lithium ion battery pack 
you have torque settings setting 1 to 6 I really like that because I was concerned with the fact that it's a push and go screwdriver so you push and it goes so when will it stop um, so the torque settings is quite handy for that so it's got six torque settings this is also important it's not click it's the the it's like a variable torque setting so you can go between four and five or you can go between three and four and fine-tune it that way so it's not click 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 like you would on a torque settings of a, a, a drill with a clutch on it it's USB chargeable open it with a little rubber flap there the nice thing about it being USB chargeable is you can charge it on the go you can charge it from a battery pack you can charge it from any cell phone charger you can charge it in your car so I really like that it's got a decent it's rubber grip I feel confident in dropping it by accident of course um, sometimes on these other tools you have a bit of a rubber here and there and, but you can feel it's just like a thin plastic rubbery this you feel it's it's decent and you can actually hold on to it properly and you can feel when you handle it you can feel it's proper rubber grip what I what immediately comes to mind with a proper rubber grip is okay you have you put in force on it but I with it being nice rubber you can also work with it let's see okay so if you had to work with it with three fingers for example you could because it's proper rubber okay so there we go but I will talk more about that in the review nice lanyard that can definitely be helpful especially if you're working on a ladder or something on a ladder or on a chair up there so you have to get up and then it is in your lanyard in your hand um, immediately I'm also thinking about um, being on a ladder now you have to hold on and you can't scrounge around for the thing and with the lanyard I assume you can just go and do your thing on the ladder so that's pretty nifty it is removable so if it does break you can replace it although I've never had a lanyard break on me what else can we say about it they say 0 0.28 kilograms or 280 grams it's definitely heavier than things I've used but I feel way more confident in using this because I can feel it's a solid screwdriver 3.6 volts 360 rpm that's its torque settings go from one to six and I'm going to read what it says here and that, that might mean something to you guys it doesn't mean as much to me um, the Newton meter so torque settings
2.5 slash 2.5 newton meters. Okay, that was the unboxing of the Box Go electric screwdriver. I will work with it, use it, and I will get back to you with a review, my findings and what I think about it and how it works around the house and in a professional life. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. If you did, please subscribe, like, all the stuff. Leave a comment if you have questions about it, which I did not answer. Also, leave comments on what you would like me to talk about in the review, which will come. If you, if you have any questions, like if you want me to try something out with it and put it into the review before you go by, go in and put those in the comments and I will add that to the review. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Nick Rock. Cheers.